This is our motion offense. Primarily, we will play this against a man-to-man, -man, but it can also work against a 2-3 zone and, if run properly, can work against a 1-3-1. Basically, we line up with the 1 at the top, bringing the ball up. The 2 and the 3 are lined up on the wings and the four and five line up on the low block. It doesn't matter which side as long as they're together. The reason we run this offense is the one, the two, the three, and the four are interchanging with each other constantly. And you don't have to reset, you just continue to run it until something opens up. Ideally, we're looking for a layup or a nice easy shot somewhere in here in the paint. To start the play, the wing that is on the isolation side, in this case it's the two, the two is going to V-cut to take his man down into the lane and then pop back out. This is going to create separation and allow a passing lane for one. He will make a good strong pass and kick the ball over to number two. At this point, the three on the other side is going to look to cut right off of the double screen set by four and five and get to the other side low block for a layup. As he does this, the four screens the three. If he gets through by himself, he's aiming for the low block not any lower because then you're underneath the basket and you don't have a shot, but you aim for the low block. If he gets there, the pass can go in and he has a very easy layup or jump shot right underneath the basket. In the event that he can't slip his man and his defender follows, the next thing that will happen is the five is going to cut across the lane towards the high post. As the five does that, the two is looking for a pass at any point in the lane that the five could then drive the lane or take an easy shot. So as he comes across, if he's open, we can give him the ball and he can go to the hoop. If not, the two keeps the ball. And when the five gets to the high post, if he has not received a pass, he then slides down to the low block to set the double low again. At this point, the one is going to have to move and set a screen for the four to get open. So the one goes down, sets the screen. It is very important on these picks that the four, in this case, waits for the one to get set before he takes off. Otherwise, we'll get caused, called for a moving screen. Once the screen is set, the four is going to break up to the top of the key. And that is where we'll pass the ball to him. If he's wide open, he will have an easy free throw, or he could even drive the lane down for a layup. If he's guarded, doesn't matter. We're now set up in motion on the other side. At this point, the play is going to start to the left side where number one is on the low block. He's going to set or use a V cut to get open. Once again, he cuts in and pops out. The ball gets kicked down there. At this point, the two is now the curler and the two is going to use this opportunity to curl underneath the screen. Once again, aiming for the low block. As he goes, if he is open, the pass goes in for an easy shot. If he's not open, if his defender is too close to him, hold the ball. The next option is the five coming across the paint. Once again, if he's open, we'll get the ball in there. If not, it doesn't matter. He gets across, hasn't received a pass. He slides down. And once again, we're back where the four, who was at the top, will now go set the screen down low for the three. 
three comes up, ball goes here, and we're back in our man motion offense again. We can run this over and over and over until we get a good look or an easy shot. Two very important things. Number one, the guy curling underneath the low, the double low, needs to make sure he doesn't go below the block because otherwise he won't have a good look. The second thing is the, the whoever the player is that is getting a screen set for them needs to wait until the screen is set before they curl off it. One last thing to think about is when you're running this offense, we're looking for layups, we're looking for mismatches and opportunities to drive to the basket for layups. If that opens up, take the ball to the hoop and we'll go score.